Hey, welcome back. We're in Exodus chapter 7 today, verses 22 to 25. God has just launched the first plague. Pharaoh was absolutely no, 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 and no. And so God finally says, all right, if you want it that way, let's do it that way. So boom, here's plague number one. And now we're going to get some reaction to that first plague. So let's see what it says. Let's read those verses starting at 22. But the magicians of Egypt did the same with their secret arts. And Pharaoh's heart was hardened, and he did not listen to them as the Lord had said. Then Pharaoh turned and went into his house with no concern even for this. So all the Egyptians dug around the Nile for water to drink, for they could not drink of the water of the Nile. Seven days passed after the Lord had struck the Nile. So this is the reaction of Pharaoh. He's got his uh, wise men and magicians and so on, and he brings them, and they sort of in some way duplicated this thing, although surely not to the extent, again, that God had done it. And again, it must have been an appearance and not the real deal, because Satan's powers are simply limited. He is not a god. He's just a created creature who's gone mentally ill. So Pharaoh, after all this goes by, what happens? Pharaoh just up and walks away. He just leaves the scene. He's, he's goes and he goes and he goes and he sits in his house. He sounds kind of grumpy and petulant here. He goes away and sits in his house. Maybe the door slammed. I don't know. But there is left Aaron and Moses standing there. The water's all red, and, and that's what you've got. Meanwhile, the Egyptians have to start digging for water, and they, de they dig all throughout a space of seven days. They have to dig all week long there just to get some water to drink. And in his mercy, God allows them to find some drinkable water. Isn't it interesting how Satan always appears to duplicate the work of God? He's always kind of got a deception, a fake thing, a miracle, a fake miracle going on. But he makes it counterfeit. He makes it look like that this is a, he's, he's, he's reduplicating, he's copying God, but it's, but it's a deception. You know, I'm pretty sure that it's God's claim to creative power that, that really rankles Satan. He just can't stand that. That's the, that's the big difference between him and the God of heaven. God has creative power. Lucifer does not have creative power. Now, it's also true. There's a great, exactly opposite character difference. The God of heaven is benevolent. He does other love. He, he works to the good of all. Whereas Lucifer, he's all about me. You know, Lucifer is all about what he can do, how he can objectify everyone and everything to achieve his, his ridiculous, selfish goals. So th there's more than one difference between Satan and God. But the creative power certainly is a giant difference. I believe Satan must hate that one almost more than anything else. This is the clear difference that separates God and his claim to be worshipped from Satan and something he can never be, he can never attain. He cannot become trans, uh, trans theophany, uh, you know, become shift from being a creature to the creator. Satan can't do that. So what's the result of all these deceptions? Well, you know, God's not going to be fooled. The, the unfallen angels, they're not going to be fooled. The fallen angels that are on Lucifer's side, they, they kind of know what's, what's up. They're not going to be fooled. So these satanic deceptions, they're all for the um, benefits, probably not the right word, but they're all for the work of deceiving human beings. Other creatures that are cre created beings that don't have infinite power, he wants to deceive them. He wants to deceive us. And so that's the, where, these, where these things are going. He wants to deceive us, the onlooking humans. So it's just humans that really are misled. And, and why is it that we are so easily misled? If you stop to think about it, the reason why is because a lot of times we, we're not, we don't like reality. We're not, we don't like the reality as it is. We don't like the lay of the land as it truly lays. We want it to be different. We want it to be set up in some way that's going to benefit us. We wish that reality were different. And so we set ourselves up to be easily deceived, easily misled, because if Satan can put something out there that looks more like what we want than what God allows us to see, which is the way it really is, what are we apt to do? We may be very apt to swallow up the fake deception, the fake thing that isn't the way it really is, but that's what we want. And so, yeah, we're going to be tending toward that thing instead of God's reality. We kind of want a, a world in which God was benevolent to us, but then he went away somewhere else, far away, so that we could kind of do whatever we want and indulge ourselves in the, whatever we want to do. 
That's, that's not what God does. God loves us. He's right here with us. He's right on top of it. He, he's, he's with you every day. His angels are with you every day, not only watching, but even giving you help and guidance if you'll have it. He will guide your thinking so that you are able to rise above all the incoming static and bad things in our world. So watch out for the deceptions. This is just Satan at work. We see it here kind of prototypically back here uh, in these uh, attempts to counterfeit God's what God has done. Satan hasn't changed. He's still working to deceive humans today. But we are the ones that are very deceivable. And instead, what we want to do is say, Lord, I love your truth more than I love the things that I, I want. Please change my own desires. Help me to cleave to your truth and always, always, always look to you and the good things you have for me. And that will help us to not be so easily deceived by these demons who are ready and able and quite actively working to bring us to death. God bless you and watch over you today. Watch out for deceptions. Be in the word and you will not be deceived. God bless you.